Hello everybody, Morbtron here. Today, I want to talk about Borderlands 3. Yesterday, it finally released for us, and we were able to get our hands on it. I've been waiting for it for quite some time, and my first impression of it, I have to say, it's uh, amazing. The movement and gunplay in this game, compared to any other Borderlands release, be it 1, 1 Remaster, 2, and the pre-sequel, uh, or any patches, or DLC, or anything, for any of those releases, um, this feels way, way better. The only thing that I can say negative about the movement in the game is vehicle usage, movement, gunplay, or whatever in vehicles. Still feels like, you know, Borderlands 2. If you're on uh, PC, mouse, and keyboard, you turn the front wheels, you steer the vehicle with your mouse, and that doesn't feel very good. I just don't like steering with the mouse. Uh, there might be a way to change it. Honestly, I just kind of jumped in changed as little settings as I had to to make it uh, recordable and uh, just dove in so I might still have to play around with some settings there to make it the absolute best I can but that's where I'm at right now it's the one negative thing I have to say about it as a first impression um, but the game runs fantastic and it's not like I have the best PC in the world either I might have a great graphics card with the RTX 2070 but my CPU is a uh, fourth gen i7. It's old. And so is my motherboard, because it runs a fourth gen processor. It's old. And it runs the game beautifully. No complaints there. Uh, I had a fantastic time playing it for the three and a half hours I got to play it on release day. Um, just the, the guns. I mean, I haven't gotten my hands on all of the different variety of weapons yet. But I gotta say, like, the revolvers, the the pistols, the, the, we'll call them hand cannons, the one that only hold, like, five or six rounds, feel really, really good. And I think I'm gonna enjoy them a lot. And hopefully there are some really, really good, unique ones later on down the line that I can get my hands on. Um, right. Sliding around in the game and just hip-firing a hand cannon, sliding into an enemy, and then meleeing them in the face definitely feels... Very, very good, and I can't wait to play more. Um, so you'll see here, I was playing as the gunner. Uh, I had friends playing, uh, Ducky is playing as Flack, and Shelf, the uh, clanmate of mine from Destiny, uh, was playing as the Siren Amara. So we had, we had a good time. We had a good time going to the first boss here. I'm not going to spoil the story. It's just the first boss. A lot of unique mechanics. The boss fight will be at the end of the end of the video, end-ish of the video. Well, there's that. But like even the first mission in this game, the introductory mission, just felt so good and so like, just the Borderlands comedy. I don't know. It was just so very Borderlands is the only way that I can describe it. It's just so well written and just a fun time overall. But I'm actually gonna cut to a clip of uh, just hitting level two and just using a gun right off right off the bat the right out of the gate that was just so so fun but uh, i'll cut to that clip here uh, right now oh <laughs> oh this gun is awesome stab <laughs> Jesus Christ. So yeah, that was the fun that I had right there. Just hitting level 2, even. And getting my first, you know, scoped revolver with a knife attached to it. Just some random, common, quality gun. It was just super, super fun. And I absolutely loved the experience. Um, I cannot wait to get my hands on more things in the game and kind of just experience it as a whole. Now, as a Borderlands player, I've never gone to the point where I'm farming for, you know, the absolute best roll of one specific item and farming a boss over and over and over again. That's not the way that I play Borderlands. You know, I like to experience the content with friends, you know, get all the things, experience all the stuff, go up in difficulties, just do playthroughs kind of over and over again. You know, eventually the, uh, you do run out of stuff. The, the old Borderlands games up to this point, have run out of stuff for me to do, and eventually I move on. 
that I'm not in Borderlands for the long haul. It's definitely fun content, and I can't wait to see what, uh, what, what they do with this one. You know, adding more content as time goes on, like they've said they are going to, to keep the game sustainable with just having PvE content. And having, you know, the, the duels and stuff is fun, but there could never be actual PvP in this game, and I think balancing the game for it would kind of ruin it. But having things like gauntlets or, you know, endless waves of enemies uh, like they have in the past, those type of things with maybe leaderboards, could get really, really fun. And I think they, they probably have that planned already. I haven't really spoiled myself, done much, you know, looking into what they have planned, what the story is like. I've kept myself kind of spoiler-free up until the start of the game. Um, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm super, super excited. I, I can't wait to get further into this game and just experience more of it. Uh, Gunner is fantastic, but I'm, I'm going to do all of them. I want to experience all the things. But, uh, yeah, so in a bit here, I'm just going to cut into the rest of this gameplay. Um, I just want to make one more, you know, one more thing. My, my, I would say my absolute part of any Borderlands game is the point... From the beginning of the game all the way to the point where, you know, you're at the very end, you've done a couple playthroughs, and then you're just kind of farming for your best no in-slot items here. or the best things in the game. I like just kind of messing around. And, of course, there's going to be, you know, the best weapons in the game. There's going to be the best shields. There's going to be the best, you know, spec. There's going to be, the you know, the best oh, talent loadout, that sort of thing. But... That's not my fun for Borderlands. Personally, I'm a much more casual player for Borderlands than I am other looter shooters, uh, like Destiny 2. But that's my fun. So, this is definitely if you want to watch me have that fun, or if you're that kind of person as well, this will definitely be a video series for you. Or catch my live streams. I'll actually be live streaming this later tonight uh, on my Twitch channel. It's twitch.tv slash Morbtron. Um, but I'm going to cut into the rest of this here. Cut through this uh, prepping for the boss fight. You'll get to see the boss fight, and that'll be basically the end of the video. So um, there won't be an outro at the end of this. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. This is a boss. Uh, if you've been playing Borderlands 3, what class are you playing? You know, have you got any cool guns? I got this this machine pistol that I have right now. It shoots like a taser thing. You'll see in the boss fight. It does a ton of damage. It's really, really fun. And uh, the mech is... A great action skill. I can't wait to get, invest more talent points into that and really see what the mech can do. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to cut into the rest of the audio. And I'm going to stop talking. So have a good day, everybody. Hope you enjoy the video. And I hope to see you on my live stream tonight. And I'll catch you all next time. Sonic Doom. <laughs> Where'd he go? in my
my sights. The great vault. He did. He, he did. did.